Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to talk about the YouTube age restrictions. So one of my YouTube videos, the uh, the one on the binary triggers, uh, which had some 15k views on it, uh, got age restricted. Okay, so uh, when I saw it, I was actually kind of relieved uh, that it wasn't like uh, deleted or, or I didn't get a strike for it. Uh, because that's kind of what I had been expecting because every time one of my videos uh, you know video like that gets very popular they'll usually uh, you know strike me and they'll like uh, suspend my channel for a week or two weeks they've actually deleted my channel in the past um, I do have off platform you know I do have my videos also posted off on off platforms like Rumble and uh, Odyssey and YouTube and a, a few others uh, but I also need to be on YouTube because I don't want, just want to be preaching to the choir. Um, you know, part of what I try to do and what we should be doing is basically expanding the gun culture, right? The Second Amendment is not just my right, it is every American's right, okay? Uh, so, you know, I think that, that both, you know, YouTube, um, all the internet platforms, the government, they should all be promoting gun rights, right? Same way we, they should be promoting freedom of speech. They should be promoting uh, gun rights, but, you know, that's not the case. So anyway, um, I wanted to talk about the age restrictions. Number one, uh, it, it it's kind of stupid to begin with because when you open up a YouTube or Google account, you, there's no verification. I'm glad that there isn't any, but you can pretty much say that you're any age uh, you want to be, okay? So... So that's number one, why it's, why it's idiotic. Um, but um, more importantly, you know, moving beyond, uh, beyond the enforcement aspect of this, here's the important thing to understand. Like if I post a video, right, that shows how to use a gun or how to build a gun, um, you know, or some type of self-defense type of training, okay, uh, that's all either recreational or self-defense related, okay? Um, Compared to the stuff that YouTube allows, right? Because they said that they allow violence shown in Hollywood movies, right? Uh, and they uh, will allow violence like like war footage, right? That you know, or violence out of war footage or stuff that's that's real. Okay, so uh, number one, the war footage side is like like that's that's the real killing of actual people okay whether it's justified not justified it doesn't make a difference it's real killing okay so re even if it is justified it is you know like what i'm doing by comparison right showing recreational shooting you know or, or recreational gun building i mean doesn't even come close okay so so put the the war footage aside from it uh let's now talk about the hollywood side of it okay so I think the idea, and this is the one I really wanted to uh, talk about, and I've mentioned this before. When you talk, when you're looking at a Hollywood movie, okay, um, and they're like, "Oh, it's just, it's just acting. Nothing's really happening." The thing to understand with with a, watching a movie, okay, how good a movie is, right, is dependent on how well the director is able to convince you, right, uh, that that what's happening is real okay so when you're watching a movie right the reason why we get excited or we get emotional you know or, you know is because like internally we believe that what we are seeing our, our, our brain is being um tricked into believing that what we are seeing is real okay um i, I give you an example my 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 kids were watching uh harry potter and uh when uh dumbledore died okay uh the old wizard she started crying okay uh and we had to console and say hey, it's just a movie it's not real that but the point is that to her it felt real because the director had done a good job of 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 you know of um hacking the the, the mind ha hacking the brain to make it believe that what you are seeing is real and that the person actually died okay so again this is you know, like like when I show a, uh, a self-defense uh, video, right, or a how-to video or a gun building video, it's all either recreational or self-defense, but there is never an actual person either being hurt or am I trying to 
am, am I good enough to convince anyone uh, that I'm hurting somebody when I'm actually not hurting somebody? Okay? So I'm not able to hack your mind to make you believe that when I'm shooting those steel targets over there, that I'm actually hurting somebody. Okay, um, and then, uh, and I covered this in a video a while ago. You know, humans today, right, are really no different than, let's say, the Romans that sat in the Colosseum some 2,000 years ago watching gladiators either fight to the death uh, or be devoured by wild animals, okay? Whatever satisfaction those Romans got out of watching people being killed in the Colosseum, we're getting the same effect watching a movie or watching TV, right? The same things are being triggered in our mind. So there's no difference, right, in, you know, from our perspective, from, from the perspective of our own mind, if we're watching people being killed in the Colosseum, right, in, in a Roman Colosseum 2,000 years ago, or if our mind is convinced that what we're seeing on the screen uh, is somebody actually being killed or hurt, et cetera, okay? Uh, so again, this is what makes a movie good is the director's ability to be able to hack your mind and make you believe, uh, you know, that what you're seeing is real. So when you compare these three things, right, uh, war footage, right, uh, actual people being killed, okay, or an intent to actually harm people, okay? And, and I'm not questioning whether it's justified or not justified, whatever, but real, like people are dying for real in war footage, okay? Uh, number two, you've got a Hollywood movie, right, where the director um, is, is basically convincing you very effectively that what you are seeing uh, is actually people being either hurt or killed, etc. cetera, okay? Uh, compared to me doing a, a gun video uh, where I'm shooting steel targets, or we're talking about a hypothetical self-defense type of situation. Between, between these um, three things, okay, uh, me showing people how to use, build guns, etc., is by far the least violent, okay? In fact, it is probably the most recreational uh, compared to the other two, compared to the war footage, uh, and the uh, the Hollywood movies, okay? So, something for you guys to think about, and uh, and probably one, something that you probably haven't thought about before that, you know, in reality, because a lot of times people say, hey, we are different than the Romans in the Colosseum uh, who basically uh, enjoyed watching people being killed for, you know, for real, right? Uh, people assume that we are now different, more evolved, you know, better human beings, but that's not the case, okay? Because when we're watching a movie and somebody is being killed, right, even if it's the bad guy, you know, the same, the same thing is being, the same satisfaction, the same chemicals are being stimu uh, uh, stimulated in our, in our brains uh, as those people in the Colosseum 2,000 years ago watching people get killed, right? Because remember, the people getting killed uh, in the Colosseum, a lot of times they were either, you know, uh, prisoners of war or, or um, you know, uh, basically um, criminals, um, so, so those were the people that were actually being killed. The actually the gladiators were usually not killed because they were, you know, they they, they were high value items. Um, and from what I read, a lot of times when the gladiators, the, 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 the high profile gladiators, a lot of times they would fake their deaths. Uh, and if a gladiator died in the Colosseum, uh, a lot of money needed to be paid uh, to the owner of that gladiator, right? Because again, this is a very expensive thing so so the people that were actually being killed in the coliseum were either prisoners you know uh criminals you know um uh uh, 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 uh war um you know war slaves um you know those were the people that were usually killed in the coliseum now there were exceptions right there were there, there were exceptions to this sometimes you did actually did have you know gladiators fight to the death you know and then you know whoever whoever was killed a lot of money was paid to the owner to compensate them for that, okay? But, you know, that's part of how that works. Okay? So, anyway, something for you guys to think about and consider, is there a difference, right, if you're, you know, watching a gladiator or, or you're watching people get killed in the Coliseum or if you're watching a Hollywood movie where the director, you know, convinces you in your mind that people are dying, okay? Is, is there a difference if you believe 
right? At least while you're watching the movie that, that somebody's actually getting killed. Okay, so drop some comments below. Let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you all soon.